Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rentnard Studios Comics, and this is the show where I talk about comic books I've read, Kickstarters I've backed, where you can find all these comic books and Kickstarters, and all sorts of other stuff that uh, I find interesting and amusing and whatnot that I think you should know about. So, let me start with uh, a little bit about me. Um, I am Gary Brantner of Rentnard Studios Comics, as I mentioned just now. And uh, I make Peter Pan the Vampire comic books that you can find on IndiePlanet.com. If you search for Peter Pan the Vampire comic or Gary Brantner, whatever. Uh, anyway, IndiePlanet.com is a really nice site. They have uh, lots of different independent comic books on there. I've tried out a few of them myself. And uh, anyway, to help me out on the algorithm, download my comic books for free to your tablets. Read them. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you really want to make me happy... Uh, order the hard copies. So like I said, I have three issues. One, two, and three. First, second, third issue is what I call them on the titles. And uh, yeah, download them. Um, let me see here. Nope, I don't have any comic books nearby that I could grab you and show you. Uh, I should do that sometime. Um, anyway, yeah, find me on uh, all the socials as Rentnarb and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, let me see here. So, what have I been watching? Uh, I just finished up Season 3 of Star Trek Discovery and moving on to Season 2 of Picard. That's a good show. Love that. Love my Star Treks. Watching those on the Paramounts and that. Um, so, I print my comic books through Kablam. Kablam has been really awesome with to me. I've been printing with them since 2009 or 10. And... Uh, yeah, I love them. They're awesome. They got a really good turnaround. I'm not sure what the turnaround is uh, during these times right now when we're having paper shortages and whatnot. I plan on doing a reorder soon, but right now it's not in my budget. So since I have no cons coming up, I haven't been reprinting any. Anyway, here's a cool print that I made a long time ago from a uh, Inktober prompt. And uh, if you want one of these for free, Send me a message somehow, peterpanthevampire.com, or no, peterpanthevampire at yahoo.com is where you can send me an email and your address and all whatnot. But yeah, I will send you one of those for free if you really ask. That is pretty cool. Um, Alright, so that's pretty much the end of that section of my comic, uh, show, video. Wow, I'm really flubbing up today, but who cares? I'm not going to edit. So now I'm moving on to mailbox. What's in Rent Arms mailbox? Woo well, today's Veterans Day, so there's not really anything in my mailbox today. But I did get recently this week, before Veterans Day, I got an awesome card from Pat Shand. It's a really cool, uh, shiny hollow foil, whatnot from the Destiny New York series. These are really cool. Awesome stuff. Um, yeah, I won this from uh, commenting on the Kickstarter. He said, drop a comment below and win this. So that's really cool. He's currently got... Pat Shand has a Kickstarter going on right now. Oh, he sent me two postcards of the same thing. From MMA. This is Mixed Magical Martial Arts. It is a spin-off from the Destiny New York series. And uh, really cool. I'm backing in it right on Kickstarter, so I can't wait to see where that series is going and all that fun stuff. Oh yeah, check it out. Really cool stuff. So yeah, live on Kickstarter right now, MMA. I will talk more about that during my um, campaign corner section. And I got some other cool stuff in the mail. I've got a big old hardback book from Magnetic Press. This is so cool. This is called Blackwater Lilies. This is an entirely um, every page of this is sequentially watercolored. Really cool, beautiful looking stuff. Can't wait to read it. They also sent along with it a giant coin. These are pretty cool if you collect that sort of thing. And some watercolored items. Check this out. Watercolored uh, scene, scenery of uh, lilies and stuff on a lake it looks like but I love that this is like on a watercolored postcard 
And these awesome prints too that are watercolored also. Really beautiful looking stuff. As you know, I love prints. I have a whole wall full of prints. Really cool stuff. There's the cover to Blackwater Lilies right there. It's a murder mystery, as far as I know. Uh, basically, I backed it entirely on how awesome this art looks and how cool the watercoloredness of it. So yeah, I will be reading that soon, someday, actually, because it's going into a giant read pile. I do have a review coming up for a black, a magnetic press book called Paris 2119, and uh, it's a really cool one. Um, I can't wait to uh, review that one for you, but for right now, uh, it's got to be on the back burner until I get all these ones that have current Kickstarters running. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, that's the end of uh, Mailbox. Now I'm going to move on to reviews. So, I've been reading some really good stuff lately, and uh, I'm about to tell you about those. So, first up on my list is... Vampire Emmy and the Garbage Girl. So, this right here is the comic I've got. It's got that spot gloss finish on it. Ooh, so pretty. So this one right here, let me tell you about the uh, credits before I begin. Vampire Emmy and the Garbage Girl is written by Pat Shand, illustrated by Roberta in Granada, and Vampire Emmy and the Werewolf X, that's the next chapter of it, is written, is illustrated by Carola Barelli, really awesome artist. Chapter breaks are by Kat Para, letters and designs by Jim Campbell, edited by Shannon Lee, and this is from, let me see here, Space Between Entertainment, and uh, yeah, really good stuff. This is, so Vampire Emmy, is a girl that is a vampire. Let me, is that even showing up too glossy? I can't sure, tell. Um, so this girl is a vampire and one day she noticed the garbage truck going by and she's, she got to throw away her garbage because she had some uh, french fries with blood on top. That's how she likes them. And uh, if that sits around in the garbage too long, it stinks up the house. So she's got to get the garbage out. And as she's running out this garbage, uh, she notices a new garbage person throwing her bags from the garbage into the thing and uh, she's kind of a cute little girl so she she's like oh no and I looked goofy with my little Cthulhu mask on so the whole story is about how she uh, she works on uh, leaving her notes and a raccoon keeps stealing the notes and she's trying to get the attention of this girl but she can't go out during the daylight because she's a vampire it's really fun stuff and then when she does find out she does finally go out she goes out on a, a, di a date, I don't know why I did that accent there, she went on a date with this uh, girl and uh, the girl suddenly realized it's a full moon. She had to hurry out and uh, Emmy is like, oh I think I know what's going on, she's a werewolf. But no, it's way different than that. She is a were viper and so it's really cool she changes into a giant viper. Really good stuff, I love this story. and. Uh, so that's a single issue that I got way back when I uh, jumped into Destiny New York. I think I started, became aware of Destiny New York uh, during, during Volume 2. And I backed the uh, catch-up tier and got Vampire Emmy single issue with it. So this little trade, this continuation of that story is really cool. I'm so glad that I got this because, yeah, I want to see more of this continue on. And if it is in the Destiny New York universe. That would be really cool to uh, have these two run into um, Destiny, Destiny and uh, pals. But yeah, that'd be really cool. But yeah, I enjoyed this. The, uh, the story with the Werewolf X, she's kind of a stuck-up girl and uh, she hadn't seen her since the 60s. And Oh shoot, eyelash. And uh, anyway, so she finds this snow globe and it got shook and it releases a demon kind of uh, spirit into a poltergeist into the room and uh, Emmy and her and her new pal have to get rid of it so they go and hunt down her ex werewolf friend that she dated and uh, brings her over to get rid of it it's 
it's really entertaining stuff, and uh, it was a fun little book. And then there is even a prose section, a novelization version of it, a story about um, Spring Hill Jack, and that was really cool too. I liked reading that. Really good story, entertaining, and uh, yeah. Then I come to the thank you page, and it has my name in there. Let's see here. Gee. Gary Brantner of Renard Studios Comics. Yeah, there I am. That's awesome. So right there, somewhere by my fingers, is Gary Brantner of Renard Studios Comics in the thank yous. Love seeing those, and that's awesome. So yeah. Vampire Emmy and the Garbage Girl. Good story, and I think if you go on to Kickstarter to back uh, MMMA, you could add this as an add-on to this series. And if you're very new to the Destiny New York series, heck, you could get the uh, catch-up tier, but oh my gosh, that'd be some serious money, but well worth it. And But guaranteed, if you jump in and uh, grab Vampire Emmy and the Garbage Girl, and... Uh, Destiny New York Volume 1, you'd be seriously satisfied, so I recommend that. So that's that's my first read. Awesome stuff, very satisfied with that. Next up on my reviews is Vampire Detective in Space, Vol Issue 1 and Issue 2. Yeah, I should have uh, read these a long time ago, but Kind of didn't get around to them, but they were from, they're from they from the creator of uh, Unicorn Vampire Hunter. And so when this Kickstarter came about, I backed it solely on uh, being familiar with the writer and all that fun stuff. I think I even added on a, a different trade, but they're somewhere in my read pile. I don't know. Can't remember the name of it right now. But I think it's the story that inspired Vampire Detective in Space. And it, he eventually dropped that storyline and took parts of it to make this story. So, Vampire Detective in Space. Let me give you some credits so you know who I'm talking about. It is written by Caleb Palmquist, illustrated by Dave Schwartz, and lettered by Dave Lentz. So yeah, really good stuff. This is about a vampire that was created in the 1800s, and uh, he, he made his girlfriend a vampire in that time. And then there's an awesome montage here of the things they do, like uh, journeying around the world and stuff like that. Riding locomotives and doing all sorts of things that vampires do. And uh, sometime in their journeys, their montage, there is a pandemic going on. And a shortage of food, all that so or interesting stuff. And... Uh, Eventually, it gets to the point where Earth had to be evacuated. And so all, most of the humans were trying to get onto a spaceship. They knew about vampires, and they knew enough to keep them off. And uh, this story is about them trying to sneak onto that ship. Much like, uh, gave me the vibes of, like, Loki when he was trying to get off of the moon that was getting destroyed. And so they get onto the ship, and suddenly the vampire realizes his girlfriend... Uh, is still out. She didn't make it onto the ship. And so he goes off into space. And many, 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 many years later, he is working with the police as a consultant and um, detective. And that's pretty much what the story is. He's a vampire, he's a detective, and he's in space. So really cool. I love this stuff. And uh, he survives off of... Uh, off of not not killing humans anymore, but by um, drinking a drink, kind of like True Blood. There, I got a whole bunch of stickers in here, so those are going to be going on the boxes that I uh, signify what my comics are in and stuff. Check that one out. That one's from Vampire Unicorn Hunter. Unicorn Vampire, I don't know. I'm messing it up. But anyway, yeah. So yeah, Vampire Detective in Space. It was a good read. I can't wait for more. And there is a Kickstarter for more going on right now. So I will tell you more about that in the campaign corner. And heck yeah. Uh, yeah, the only thing I wish is that uh, I could get a Vampire Detective or a Unicorn Vampire Hunter pin for my uh, enamel pin collection. But other than that, 
It's a good read. I love stickers, so I collect stickers as well. Love those all over my uh, comic book boxes. So those are good stuff. Next up on my reads is Alicia Carter and Robot. This was a good read. I really enjoyed it and uh, had a good time with this. Let me give you some credits before I start in on that. So, story and concept by Tristan Vick. Art by Von Randall. Colors by Omi Remolante. And lettering by Regolith Graphics. So, Alicia Carter and Robot is a good story about... So it's about this, uh, this girl and well, this robot and he works on a trash heap so the basically the planet is where other planets send their garbage to uh, be sorted by robots kind of Wally -E style and this robot he loves to collect books and other trinkets other collectibles things that land on this planet and one day Alicia Carter lands on the, his planet and he uh, he's he saves her introduces himself and she introduces herself all that fun stuff and she she has no memory for a little while but then suddenly a bunch of uh, bounty hunters are chasing her or people that she used to work with and uh, things get out of hand and they end up working together her and the robot to escape these bounty hunters really cool stuff and really cool art a really bombastic uh, style to it so I love it kind of reminds me of uh, Umberto Ramos who uh, did some Spider-Man issues that I read a long time ago so it, it is pretty cool pretty any entertaining stuff a lot of comfort galleries ooh I can't show you those but Kickstarter for issue 2 is going up right now and I will tell you more about that during the campaign corner but yeah I, I really enjoyed reading uh, Alicia Carter and it looks like yeah about half of it is just covers and uh, well some of its story so about it's probably a 24 page comic book and then has an extra 12 pages of just covers from uh, other random stuff so <clears throat> all right next on to this is not a comic book but this is a novel full-on novel this is The Mine by Carlene H. Ramirez. Um, I picked this up at a farmer's market here in Tremont, Utah. And uh, so this is from a, an author that lives somewhere in this neighborhood, valley, whatever you want to call it. Check that out. I even got it signed. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera because all, all I'm seeing is glare from my uh, lights. But it says, enjoy, Carlene Ramirez. So this is The Mine. This is about a, uh, a future, and um, in this future, there is a president that gets elected, and he's nuts. And he, uh, he, may, he deems it a privilege to be able to read, and um, those that can read get the better jobs. Those that can't read end up working in mines and hard labor, lumber yards, things like that. And uh, yeah. And people who cannot pay off their debts can sell their kids to these mines. And um, that's what this story is about. This girl gets sent to the mine. I think she's three or six years old when she gets sent to this mine. And uh, the whole story is about uh, arrival and departure days and how they have to deal with being abused. And really, really good stuff. Um, man, it, it kept me turning pages from the minute I read it to when I close, finally close the book, such a good read and very compelling. Um, I'm going to be looking for more from this author, checking that out and looking it up to see what, uh, what, what, what more I can read from the, from Carlene here. So thank you for this book. And yes, very, very good stuff. Oh man. And yeah, I do hope there are sequels because it, it leaves you on a cliffhanger. That's insane. So check out the mine. I will leave, uh, links to that on my Twitters and stuff where you can find these books. Hopefully I can find more and you never know it could be a first first uh, published but guaranteed that we are gonna see more from this person really good stuff and uh, yeah awesome. 
So now I'm on to the campaign corner of my video and this is the part where I tell you about things that are on Kickstarter right now that I'm backing and things that are on Indiegogo stuff like that and uh, yeah I will drop uh, links to every single Kickstarter I mention in my Twitter feed so make sure you're following me on Twitter at Rentnarb to uh, see those and I, I try to tag you in them the uh, creators of the Kickstarters in as many of them as I can but Sometimes you, they fall through the cracks, whatnot. So first up on Kickstarter right now is the game one through three. The game, in the game of life, no one's been keeping score until now. From the creators of White Ash and Glarian, the game, 48 pages of awesomeness. It is 327% funded. Oh, that's awesome. And yeah, I. The game is really awesome. Connor Hughes' art is insanely awesome. And of course I'm going to back it. So the game, 1 through 3, is on Kickstarter right now until November 16th. My birthday! Yay! I can't wait. So, awesome. Awesome stuff. Lost Boy. You know I'm, suck I'm a sucker for Peter Pan uh, stories, so the Lost Boy... Lost Boy, How a Hand Became a Hook and a P-Tier Became the Pan. Set in London, early 1700s, a time before police and public safety relied on... They relied on... Public safety relied on thief takers. Tomathan survives as a P-Tier, a thief who steals off bags off of moving carriages. This is 28 pages from the creator of Unicorn. And, uh... Unicorn was an awesome storyline... Story that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. Really good stuff. This is a project we love. Oh, the game was also a project we love on Kickstarter. Sorry, I didn't mention that. So, yeah, Lost Boy, project we love on Kickstarter. Really good stuff. Peter Pan stuff. And um, it's currently... I oh, I didn't check what percentage it's at now. Last time I checked, it was 75%. Hopefully, they're closer to 100 now. Because I really want this book. Um, I'm going... I might have to... Um, Look into uh, seeing if there's some things I can add on to bump the uh, percentage up a little bit because I really want this book. It looks really well drawn, really well well written. Um, so it, the writer of it is teaming up with his daughter to create this storyline. So really cool stuff. Lost Boy on Kickstarter until November 18th. MMMA, Mixed Magical Martial Arts. You remember the Pat Shan comic that I told you about? Is on Kickstarter right now. A thrilling fantasy sports comedy graphic novel about Bailey, an MMA fighter who joins an underground fight club of magic users. Add-ons include Destiny New York, Prison Witch, oh, that's a good series, Thirsty and Cheeky, Vampire Emmy, and The Garbage Girl. It is a 60-page book, 166% funded, a project we love also, MMMA, Mixed Magical Martial Arts, ends on Kickstarter November 18th. Check it out. Get Lich or Die Trying, number one. A comedy action adventure steeped in role-playing game lore. Brought to you by the writers of the Ringo Award-winning Metal Shark Bro. It's 40 pages of issue one. Issue one of a four-issue series at that. You could add Metal Shark Bro onto your uh, Kickstarter, which I did. I I read Metal Shark Bro s single issue number one, and I went on and added volume one and volume two of the trade paperbacks of Metal Shark Bro to my Get Lit or Die Trying thing. So they are 94% uh, funded right now. They just need a little bit more to get over that hump, but I'm sure they could do it because they have till November 25th. Really good stuff. Get Lich or Die Trying on Kickstarter until November 25th. Vampire Detective in Space, issues 1 through 3. A vampire detective solves mysteries with the help of his snarky AI companion. 24 pages. Get some awesome stickers on there. Really cool stuff. 109% funded and a project we love. So Vampire Detective in Space, 1 through 3, is on Kickstarter until November 27th. Check it out. Death Tally, 1 through 3, is on Kickstarter right now. She accidentally killed the Grim Reaper, a Reaper. 
Now she must replace it. The story continues further into the world of the Reaper. 22 pages of awesomeness. Um, the catch-up tier is $30. So that's $10 an issue. I'm, I'm weighing it because I'm a little short on funds. I haven't completely backed it yet, myself yet. But if funds are right around November 27th and uh, I can do it, I want to get this storyline. I want to see where it's going. So I'm going to check it out. Death Tally 1 through 3 on Kickstarter right now until November 27th. It is 138% funded, so if you do back it, you're going to get it. Starlight Issue 5 is on Kickstarter right now. It's like, what if the Power Pack grew up? Um, this is about kid superheroes, and uh, so these superheroes went back to being normal kids after being heroes, and then they were trapped by trans-dimensional space spider wizards. Um, it's really cool stuff. Uh, there is a Sarah pin that I've been looking at getting, and uh, it's written by the co-creator of Surrogates that got turned into a Bruce Willis movie. That's really cool. And Starlight on its own. I mean, it is an awesome comic book, and it should be, uh, it, it could be an animated show in my opinion. Really well done, and uh, I'd love to see that. Starlight Issue 5 is on Kickstarter right now at 121% funded until November 27th. Jin Hunter, number one, the trade paperback, is on Kickstarter right now. The cosmos are in chaos. Zara, the Jin Hunter, hunts down the mad Jin. 112 pages in this trade paperback. That's a good deal. The Council, Council of the Jin must stop rogue members the rogue member named Abyss and his minions from granting wishes to mortals resulting in untold horrors. It is 84% funded which is actually down from the last time I talked about it. So check it out. Uh, I really want to get my copy and I am back in this one so please get it over 100% so I can get my copy. The solution it, of hunting down this Abyss is an early prison release for Zara, the Jin Hunter, with and she has to be accompanied by a Phoenix parole officer named Benu. So I love the idea of a Phoenix tagging along with a, a demon hunter. So check out Jin Hunter number one, the trade paperback on Kickstarter until November 27th. Alicia Carter and Robot number two is on Kickstarter right now. It is 28 pages of awesomeness and action comedy series that follows the space adventures of a crafty thief and her robot sidekick. But um, I'm not back in this one yet because, well, I did, as I, as I said, I just read it, but looking at it, they've got the comic on there for 15 bucks plus $10 in shipping. So it's a $25 book after shipping for 28 pages. Uh, it's really hard. Um, I'll keep my eye on it. It's on Kickstarter till December 2nd, and it's 284% funded. Uh, there's a lot of lot of alternate covers. I think that's where they're making their money, really. But uh, it just the price is a little bit too high for me to continue on reading that one. I'm sorry, guys. But uh, yeah, Alicia Carter and Robot number two is on Kickstarter right now. 284% funded and ends on December 2nd. So if you're into that, Check it out. Sex, Spies, and Rock and Roll is on Kickstarter right now. Get volumes 1 through 1 and 2 of the Kickstarter. Spy Hunters, Spy Adventures series, and also all these spin-off books and other goodness. So check out Sex, Spies, and Rock and Roll on Kickstarter right now until December 4th. Memoirs of the Reanimator, Figuring, Issue 1, and Radio Drama are on Kickstarter right now. Follow Dr. Herbert West and on his macabre, macabre adventures and his experiments that cause utter chaos wherever he goes, beginning in Arkham, Massachusetts. Add-ons include Lovecraft P.I., Berserkers, and badges and coins, all sorts of good stuff. 136% funded. This Memoirs of the Reanimator ends on December 4th. I'm really excited. I love this... Uh, creator and I back everything that they do so check them out add Lovecraft PI and Berserkers to your uh, 
to the pledge, you will not be sorry you did. Really good stuff. Miskatonic High 16. Oh, I'm so glad this one's back. Miskatonic High 16. The Hunters Get Hunted. A freak storm strands Matt and Sarah in a hidden village, but can they figure out its secret before they get trapped there for good? Add-ons include, include really good stuff. Um, yeah, uh, they are 2,700% funded. Wow, a project they love on Kickstarter. I'm, I'm looking at getting a shubby pin, enamel pin. No, I, actually, I think I already did. I'm getting the issue and a, a shubby pin. Shubby comes from um, the Miskatonic High and Lovecraft PI team up storyline that they did a couple um, years or months ago. I'm not sure. It's it's all a blur from 2020 to now, all seems like the same year. So, anyway, um, Miskatonic High, they always do good stuff, and uh, I love their stuff, can't wait to read. Right now I've got a bunch of comics I'm pulling out of the read pile, and I'm going to be reading those for you next week. So, Miskatonic High 16, on Kickstarter right now, 2700% funded, on there till December 8th. And that is the end of... Uh, my reviews for today so if you have a comic on Kickstarter that you want me to know about or if it's on Etsy I'll even check it out it doesn't have to be on Kickstarter but if you have an independent comic book you want me to know about email me at peterpanthevampire at yahoo.com make sure you tell me that hey give me a quick note saying hey check my, check out my comic and uh, I love watching your show let me know why I'm getting the email because sometimes I don't know if it's from me saying this or if it's junk mail so yeah a little note saying hey I watched your show and uh, I want to know what you think about my book and I'll check it out otherwise it might just get lost in the spam so yep yeah, hit me up or you can uh, you can comment tag your links in the comments of my uh, Twitter space or or uh, Facebook space I am at rentnarb um, on Facebook and on Twitter. I have a Instagram also, but I don't ever use it. So anywhere you find this uh, alien here on this clock, that's me, Rendarb. And uh, yeah, check me out. Comment, tag me, whatever. I don't care. I love it. And uh, yes, I have a Patreon page also. I'm currently at zero subscribers. Yay. What can you do? Anyway, if you back me on the uh, Patreons, I will give you a shout out by holding up your name and the tags you want me to display. Rent Narb, that's me on the uh, Twitters and on the Facebooks. So, if you uh, back me on the Patreons, you will get a shout out like that. And I will say, hey, Gary Brantner, thank you for supporting me on the Patreons. And that is about, that looks like uh, the end of my notes. Yep, 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 go, go. The end of my notes. Yep, that's the end of my notes. And uh, join me again next week as I review some other comics, Miskatonic Highs, and <clears throat> oh, sorry, Miskatonic High, and uh, some Sex, Spies, and Rock and Roll. Spies, Sex, and Rock. No, I don't know. I'm getting confused. Anyway, I've got some goodness I'm going to be uh, reviewing, and um, cool. Can't wait to see you there. So. Thanks for watching Rentnarb Studios Comics on YouTube.